Welcome back to the channel into yet another behind the scenes sort of breakdown style video. This video is brought to you by Canva and you might know Canva as an online graphic design tool, but did you know that you can also edit videos all within Canva? Well, a lot of you have been loving the series on the channel where we film product commercials and then we edit them in Canva. So that's what we're gonna be doing today for this product right here. I'm not being paid by this brand, but this is a coffee flavored drink and I just love the colors and the branding and just the overall way the can looks, which is why I've chosen it as the subject for this video. All right, so here is the setup for the first shot. We've got our can, of course, on a turntable, and this is actually a lens adapter that I'm using to give it some extra height. Over here, our key light, this is the Lowell Ego LED. I have a piece of black construction paper gaff taped to the one side of it. This is keeping the light off of the background. We only want to light the subject. Now, moving over to this side, this is a shoebox with a piece of white paper on it to give us a bounce or a fill. And then finally back here, this is a loom cube panel set to a warm hue. This is giving some extra accent, a little bit more depth to the shot. I've got everything pretty much framed how I like it. And I'm just gonna grab this bottle here that contains a mixture of water and glycerin. This will give the can a cold, refreshing look. And once we are happy with that, we can hit record on the camera and we can start our rotation. So here is our next setup. We've got this cardboard box, and as you can see, it is full of coffee beans. We have our drink in the middle here, as well as our key light, our little accent light here. And we've just kind of submerged the can amongst these coffee beans, and I've got my camera on the tripod over here once again. Now the idea here is to do a sort of tilting motion with the camera on the tripod to kind of scan up the label of the can. And let's see if we can get a shot that looks half decent. So I start with the camera tilted down like this, and I tilt up until I come to a stop, just like so. All right, so here is the setup for our next shot. We've got our bin full of beans, as you can see. And I'm not exactly sure what this is gonna be, but I want it to appear as though it is some part of the process for preparing coffee beans, whether that's in a sorting facility or if it's some kind of flavor extraction, I'm not really sure. The idea is to blow some steam into the background and foreground of this shot. And I'm gonna try and take these two end pieces and kind of squish them together. Okay, moving along here to our next setup. We've got this Tupperware here full of water. And then the idea is that by shooting up on this angle towards the surface of the water, we should get a pretty cool looking reflection as we dip one of the cans into the water. I guess it is also worth noting that we're shooting this in 120 frames per second so that we can get that nice, smooth, sort of slow motion ripple effect in the water. So we're just gonna dip our can in here a few times. I might add a twisting motion, try some different positions, maybe with the can upside down. So now we are setting up the next shot, which is going to be our pouring shot. I'm switching from the 40 mil back to the 90 mil. This will get us a nice close up. And the idea is to have a nice low camera angle, black background, and have the can somewhere up here. And we're gonna pour the liquid into this container. The container is obviously not going to be in the shot. This is our accent light. We're just gonna sort of place it below down here. I'll use the sponge to prop it up. Additionally, we've got the steamer in the foreground right here. It's gonna give us that extra smoky look, just make the shot a little bit more interesting. So let's set this up here and give this a go. And we're doing this in autofocus so that I can move around and not worry too much about my framing. As always, we're gonna give the can a spray. All right, that was hectic. I spilled it everywhere, but hopefully we have something that works. All right, so now we're gonna do some relocating over here to the floor. Now with this bin full of beans on the floor, I'm gonna set up the camera so that we have this kind of top-down angle. Definitely do not risk your expensive equipment by having it held together with tape. This is incredibly stupid, but I don't have a sandbag with me, so I'm using lots of tape. And that should be okay, that's not going anywhere, I hope. <laughs> Gonna bring in these lights once again. And we do still have a lot of natural light coming in through this window, which we don't want on the actual shot. So I'm just gonna grab a piece of tape and put a piece of black construction paper to kind of flag off 
that natural light. Turn on our accent light here, and I wanna try and prevent making a mess, so I'm just gonna put some pieces of cardboard in here so that the beans don't go flying everywhere. This is what it looks like inside the box right now. Give the can a quick spritz, hit record, and here goes nothing. Not bad, a little bit out of the frame, so we'll try that again. And as I suspected, the beans are still going all over the place, so I'm definitely gonna have to do some sweeping after this. In three, two, one. Terrible. Three, two, one. I think that was the one right there. This was how we landed, and not a horrible mess, but a mess nonetheless. All right, it is time to edit our video, and I do apologize if it's kind of echoey in here. We are renting this cottage for a week. First vacation in a while, and I'm taking a break from taking a break to show you where the magic happens for our edit. Now, this right here is Canva. You've probably heard of it before. It's a free graphic design tool that is also now an online video editor. Now, if you're somebody who is just getting into video, or maybe you just wanna dabble in some video editing, Canva is a great place to start. Or maybe you have your own brand and you just wanna make some simple content for your brand. Well, Canva is the place to be. It is completely free to use, but you do have the option to sign up for Canva Pro for some extra time-saving features and tools. Now, I've actually already gone ahead and imported all of the footage that I shot by dragging and dropping them into the uploads folder. And I do wanna start off our edit with this shot here. It is certainly a decent shot, but it is kind of anticlimactic given it's on a black background and there's not really a whole lot to it. So let's go in and add a little spice. So I'm just gonna bring the clip into the timeline here and the first thing I'm going to do is find the part of the clip where the rotation of the can ends. And now we just kind of have the can stationary, chilling there in the middle of the frame. I'm going to right click here by our playhead and split the clip at that point, creating two separate shots. And I'm just gonna adjust the composition of the shot so that it is filling the frame. And then I'll go up here and start the export. And I'm going to download our second shot as a PNG, making sure, of course, that only that second shot is selected. Once that's downloaded to our computer, I can go ahead and drag this image into our uploads and then drag it into the timeline. So now that we have this image in the timeline, we can go ahead and remove the stationary portion of the shot so that we have this sort of smooth cut between the rotation portion of the video and then the stationary can photo. Now, the cool thing here is that since we are now working with a photo, we have some added flexibility with what we can do to the shot compared to if we were still editing on a video clip. And here is what I mean. We're gonna select our photo and then go to edit image and apply the background remover. This is just one of those great Canva Pro features that you get with a membership. It's just so fast and accurate. By the way, if you are interested in trying Canva Pro, you can go to canva.me slash Daniel S or go to the link down in the description below. Since we have now removed that black background from the photo, we now have the ability to put things in behind the can and have it still be visible. Now, since the product in the video is called Espresso Martini Fizz, I'm actually going to bring in this Fizz asset I already had from another video and just drag that into our uploads. Once that's in our uploads, we can drag it into the shots and I'll right click on the Fizz video and hit send backwards so that it is behind the can. So what we've effectively done here is we took this still image of our can, we removed the background and then we put this asset behind it and that way we have something that looks more like a video. There's now some actual movement in the shot. Next I'll go into our text tab here and bring in the glowing shine text. I'm going to delete these two rows of text because we don't need them and then I'm going to type the word fizz. I'm gonna switch up the font here to something a little bit more funky. I like this one called Art Nouveau, and I'm just gonna change the size of the whole text so that it fills up a good amount of that background. Of course, I'm gonna right click once again and send it backwards so that the text is now sandwiched in between the can and the background layers. From here, I'm just gonna click and highlight everything in our shot and group these elements together. This will make the whole shot just a bit easier to work with. And now I can adjust the size of everything all at once to fill this whole frame. Now that I feel like we have a good base to work with, I think we're at the point that we can start adding music and pace out the edit a little bit. Canva does have a nice built-in library of lots of awesome tracks from Epidemic Sound. I'm gonna grab this track here by Ava Lowe and just drag it into our timeline. Line. I'm gonna play through here and find the main beat of the song. Once I found it, I can trim up the audio track so that the whole video starts on that main beat. And then I can start lining up the shots to cut with the tempo of the music. Just trimming up the end of our second shot here and we have something that looks like this. 
Now this is actually another scenario where grouping all of those elements together is going to help us because what we can do now is split the clip on the beat of the music and then scale up the entire ladder portion of the clip so that we have this sort of punch in effect in this close up of the can. This is made a lot easier by having all of these elements grouped together because if they weren't grouped together, you would have to scale everything up one by one and it can be a little bit of a headache. Now having this close up gives the shot some good variation but also puts some emphasis on the beat of the song and here is what we have so far. So that really is the most complex part of this entire edit. For the rest, we can simply just bring clips in, trim them up to line up with the music. On some shots, I might add a breathe animation to add this sort of subtle zoom in, the scale in on the footage, make it more dramatic. As for the dropping of the can into the coffee beans, this shot was a little bit off center. So right in the Canva editor, I can just simply adjust the composition of the frame. Same kind of thing for this poor shot. I didn't really want my hand on the can in the shot, so I just cropped in and that seemed to do the trick. And finally, after bringing in the logo for the last frame of the video, the only thing left to do was to add Add all of the sound effects. And just like for the music, Canva has thousands of sound effects from Epidemic Sound that will help bring these shots to life. You simply just drag and drop these into the timeline. It's the most convenient thing ever to have this feature built right into the editing platform. And once that's done, we can go up here to export the video and here is the final result. I am very impressed with the way this turned out and honestly, I'm quite stunned with how well Canva can handle this footage. I'm actually having a lot of fun pushing Canva to its limits and just seeing what we can pull off in this free online video editor. Once again, if you would like to try Canva Pro for 45 days completely free, then you can go to canva.me slash Daniel S or go to the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Instagram at daniel.schiffer and I will see you in the next video.